Welcome to this first tutorial that will let you create your first FPGA program. Let's see how easy it is to create, build, and simulate, even without a real board. Inspired by the Intel FPGA document, this video shows how Novacode Studio and the PSC language makes FPGA programming much easier. Let's start with some explanations. The C++-like PSC language is a high-level language designed to replace low-level languages like VHDL and Verilog, while maintaining hand-coded quality. Novacode Studio is the integrated development environment for editing, compiling, and running PSC programs. First and most important, you don't need the real FPGA board. Novacode Studio supports BSPs, board support packages. The BSP includes a board simulator with buttons, switches, LEDs, and VGA. Novacode Studio and the PSC language are useful for everyone working with FPGAs, makers and engineers, to make it easier to learn and program FPGAs, C++ developer, because no hardware knowledge is required, teachers and students, by allowing students to work home without a board, FPGA developers, to offer them a high-level alternative to VHDL and Verilog. Also managers to help them recruit FPGA developers. You don't need to know FPGAs. Do you need to know processor details to program in C++? Of course not. It is the same for FPGA. All you need to know is that it is a powerful parallel machine. A modern processor chip has more than 100 CPUs. A modern FPGA chip has more than 10 million RPUs. A CPU executes sequentially one instruction per cycle or 100 instructions per cycle for 100 CPU. Each RPU executes one instruction per cycle. Therefore, all RPUs will execute 10 million instructions per cycle. Imagine the processing power. This exercise shows you how to create a Hello Digital World program, a counter. This is a simple exercise to get you started using Novacode Studio software for FPGA development. You'll learn how to create a project, write the counter program, select the simulated board target, compile the PSC code, Start the simulation and see how the simulated board implements a counter. If you have the real FPGA board, you don't need to modify your code. Simply create a target for the real board, compile, et voila! The FPGA is automatically programmed, implementing the counter exactly as in simulation. You need to download and install Novacode Studio and the BSP for the DE1SOC board. They can be downloaded here. The installation is straightforward and takes a few minutes. Novacode Studio requires a license. During installation, you will be asked for one. You can get a 30-day trial license, and if you're pleased, you can buy a professional, a personal, or a site license. You can also use a FreeMaker license for non-commercial use. The Thoracic DE1 SOC development board, based on an Intel Cyclone 5 SOC FPGA, provides a reconfigurable hardware design platform for makers, IoT developers, and educators. You can buy the board here. Once you've downloaded and installed Novacode Studio and the BSP, you're ready to get started creating the counter project. Let's start our first FPGA program now. As many tools, you can create a project to include all related files into the same directory. Create a place where you can save all your Novacode projects. Example, let's see my projects. Avoid spaces in path and file names. Some of the tools don't like spaces in directory path. Use directories where you have read and write access. Open Novacode Studio. The main window is like this. Select Menu, File, New Project. Fill the dialog with the directory and the project name. 
select Save, the project windows will show the newly created project. If you like, have a look at the project directory structure. You can see the project file, the source file directory, and the targets directory. Targets will be discussed later. In C++, a program starts with a main function. The main function consists of a list of sequential executed instructions. A C++ program reads peripherals, performs computations, and writes to peripherals. Peripherals might be the screen, the keyboard, the files, the printer, the network, and so on. The programming of FPGAs begins with a schematic. Here is the schematic of the counter program. All FPGA programs include one or many input ports, here keys, one or many output ports, here LEDs, one or many interconnected components for processing, here CC counter. An FPGA program reads the input peripherals, performs computation defined in the components, and controls the output peripherals. Here is how to create an empty main program in text format. In the main RPG window, double-click where indicated, select PSC source file, insert a name for the main program, now select OK, the main component call will be displayed. The C++ language is used to define the list of instructions executed sequentially. An HDL is used to define the circuit on the FPGA. All components in a circuit execute in parallel. We use PSC as the high-level HDL. If you are familiar with the C++ programming language, you will easily understand and use the PSC language. A PSC program is compiled to generate the binary code required to configure the FPGA, therefore, create the circuit. To complete the main PSC code, copy and paste the following code into the main PSC window. Then save the file. You can replace the existing code. Let's have a look at the code. As expected, the main component includes the external ports, the counter component, and the connections. Connections are defined using process and signal declarations. In C++, objects are instances of classes. In PSC, processes are instances of components. You are now ready to compile and execute the code. But first, you need to specify where the code will be executed, namely the target. In our example, we use the DE1SOCBSP simulated board as a target. In the main RPG window, there is an item named Targets. As its name implies, the target defines where the PSC code will be executed. Basically, there are three types of targets, Simulation, FPGA, and Core. In the main RPG window, right-click on Main and select Build Project. Accept the build confirmation, this will compile the PSC code. Verify that there are no errors. In the main RPG window again, right-click on Targets and select New Target. A dialog for creating the target will appear. Create the target for a simulated DE1 SOC board. In the dialog, enter the target name, select the Thoracic DE1 SOC board support package, select Simulation, Select OK and the new target will be created. You are now ready to execute the program on the simulated board. But first, let's discuss how a program is executed. Here is the executable function of the C counter component. If you're familiar with C, you can easily understand how the code implements a counter. In C, instructions are executed sequentially, while in PSC, Functions are executed when triggered by events. In this example, if you press a key on the board, an event is created and routed to the PC counter process port I command. 
Since exec command is executed for every event on I command, pressing a key will trigger execution of that function. Then the selected operation will be executed. Note that all instructions in a function are executed simultaneously, not sequentially. The bits 0 to 3 of the I command port are encoded to reflect which key was pressed. The switch I command instruction uses this value to select the desired operation. Key 0 to reset, key 1 to increment, and key 2 to decrement. Note that since PSC is parallel, the switched instruction does not need a break. Now let's have a look at this in simulation. Simply select the menu Run, Start, accept the build confirmation, and watch the magic. The simulated DE1SOC board window appears. Start playing with the keys, 0, 1, and 2, and observe the count changing on the LEDs. When you're done, select the menu Run and Stop. This will end the simulation. Congratulations! You've programmed your first FPGA, hopefully in less than 20 minutes. You can now move on with three optional exercises, execute on a real FPGA, generate a VHDL core, and experiment on your own. Follow the links for the other videos. Thank you for watching. And if you want to know more, you can visit icitechno.com and you can also buy the book available on Amazon.